All right, so for the next uh, part of the humerus bone, which we should be looking at, is basically at the distal end of the humerus, okay? So at the distal end of the humerus, we have these two parts known as trochlear. The other one is known as what? Capitulum. So it's these two parts of the humerus bone that we're basically trying to look at, okay? So we look, we start, at, we start by looking at trochlear then after trochlear we talk about the capitulum all right so you marry the two knowledge together because we are basically talking about the same bone okay just that it's different parts of the bone now for trochlear we see that um trochlear is located at this end of the humerus and it's basically what medial so this trochlear is medial so you can see what medial epicondyle is just above it Okay, so that should help you locate it. For shape, it is um, it has a spool-like shape with a grooved surface that will articulate to the ulna. Articulation, the trochlear will actually articulate the trochlear notch of the ulna bone. All right, the ulna bone has a trochlear notch. We spoke about the anatomy of the trochlear notch. So the trochlear together with the trochlear notch, they form the hinge joint of the elbow. So it basically allows for flexion for you to be able to do your hand like this. Okay. So function is what elbow joint formation and also stability of the elbow joint. The next is what the capitulum of the humerus. Capitulum, if trochlear is medial, then capitulum is definitely what lateral. Okay. So say for the location, the capitulum is located on the distal end of the humerus. Okay. It's rounded, has a dome shaped articulation. Articulates with the head of the radius and this will now allow the radius to be able to rotate and thus it will enable pronation and supination of the forearm Function now um, It functions in elbow joint formation and also flexibility Okay, so that's the anatomy of the two parts of the humerus bone. I right, started